it's me Alfiza Dinda. I'm a college student at Erlanga University majoring English literature and in this lovely time I would like to share something to you. It is one of my favorite books that I have already read and before that I hope you are always having a good day and I'm super excited to introduce this book to anyone that hasn't heard of it. This book is a masterpiece. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. The book that I mentioned is this, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson. It has 224 pages in it. And at the beginning of this book, it's gonna be a little bit verbal when it comes to using the F words, but then tones down throughout the rest of the book. <clears throat> the five of this book is gonna be a straightforward, no frills, lots of swear words and straight to the point. By reading this book, I've learned a lot of things, such as when we born, we born with a lot of problems, born with a lot of fucks to give to people or to something, and as we get older, we have to be smarter to choosing what we care about and what we don't care, which means it's still a problem, but only the good one, and when we can solve the problems, we'll get happiness. One way to achieve happiness by solving the good problems in our life, we have to deal to anything that happens in our life, learn to always be grateful to yourself, and because in the future, you will be more peaceful than yesterday. And don't fight to yourself, <laughs> rather than forcing yourself to be stay positive at all the times, it's good to accept what's negative in your life but still, you have to try to be better. Instead of being the best, just try to be better, right, every day. Because we'll never stop to learn for the rest of our lives. And if we can change to be better, we can be better than the best, right? By the end of this book, I found something that's really sweet for me. And I love to read it over and over. It says that Mark Manson giving his thanks to people that always support his life. The first is, this book began as big as messy things and required more than just my own hand to chisel something comprehensible out of it. First and foremost, thank you to my brilliant and beautiful wife, Fernanda, who never hesitates to say no to me when I need to hear it most. Not only do you make me a better person, but your unconditional love and constant feedback during the writing process were indispensable. The second one, to my parents for putting up with my shit all these years and continuing to love me anyway. In many ways, I don't feel tough. I fully became an adult until I understood many of the concepts of this book. In that sense, it's been a joy to know you as an adult in these past few years, and to my brothers as well, I never doubt the existence of mutual love and respect between us, even if I sometimes get butt hurt <laughs> that you don't text me back. And the rest of it is saying thanks to the people who always support and always giving the impact to his life. For me, the minus of this book is the language. The language tends a little bit too rough because of the using <laughs> of these words. This book is supposed to be read by someone who gets old enough, so they were not gonna be that taking another problem when they're reading these books and maybe for some teenagers you can read these books but for children I'm not really recommended because it's too rough for them oh yeah by the way this book is already translated in Bahasa Indonesia but for me I love to read the original one because in the Bahasa one, it's a little bit different from the original one for the translation. So for me, reading the original one is giving more understood, more learns that we can read from this. For your information, this book is sells with the price for $17, but if you want to buy it in Indonesia, it's around 200,000 rupees. You can find it in many bookstores in your town.